So inside uh, Wiesman Hex, um, so we can see here what's happened. They haven't had the boiler serviced and the condens trap has blocked up and it's been flooding. So all the condens have been building up inside there and uh, basically caused all the insulation panel to disintegrate in the front here. And uh, I, I don't know, but I'm, I'm wondering if that's affected the electrodes. Anyway, today new electrodes and uh, a new insulation panel going on, new casing seal. Um, highly successful um, heat exchanger, this one. But the weakness on some of the earlier ones was these points at which the screws were fixed onto the front here. And there was occasion on some of them where this uh, would crack around that screw. And uh, that's about the only situation I've ever had with the Wiesman with a, uh, a failure other than the um, other, I think it was a 200 at the same time, had an aluminium front panel here instead of stainless steel. And if you put the boiler leaning forward, the condens used to sit against that aluminium panel and then rot through the heat exchanger. And uh, Wiesman were claiming the, left, the boiler had to be level, but wouldn't give us any idea of how level but um, anyway I'm assuming that's a thing of the past I would imagine that it had to do with the angle on here and I, I'm assuming that at the bottom of the heat exchanger there's kind of like an angle at the bottom to the condensed collection point so if you installed the boiler forward that once that became level or not enough of an angle going backwards the condens would have a, uh, a tendency to pool at the front here onto this aluminium section and as we know, we don't want condens um, or system water really coming into contact with aluminium. Um, so, okay. Anyway, I thought you'd be interested to see that.